Okay, now we're on the Galactica, another Ubuntu 10.10 Maverick Meerkat client. Um, and let me zoom in here. And um, in in the last uh, activity that we did, we set up DNS, and to test it, we changed our clients to a static IP. So now I want to do the opposite. We want to put them on a dynamic IP. So we're going to undo those changes. If you know you have fresh clients from a fresh install, you won't have to do this at all. It's already set for DHCP. Um, another thing I want to make sure that I do before I start is disable any DHCP servers running on your network. Otherwise, your clients will go out and try to get IPs from them, possibly before it gets you know IP addresses from the Linux Ubuntu DHCP3 server that we just set up. So I temporarily disabled the DHCP server on my router. You should do the same. And um, again, to check, I'm going to do sudo nano and etc and network and interfaces. It's the name of the file that I want to edit. Okay, and again, I'm not on DHCP. Okay, here I can tell that I'm on a static address. So I'm going to change that back to the default setting, which is just simply the loopback. And I mean, alternatively, I could alternatively I could put eth2, and I could specify um. You know, DHCP. But when I restart my networking services, if I simply do this under the default settings, it will be DHCP. So I'm going to take it back to the default settings. Get rid of all the static IP information here. And we should be good to go. Control X, Y to save, and hit enter. All right. And the only, only other thing I want to, you know, do is I'll need to restart my networking services. So I'm going to do sudo, and I'm going to do network. Or excuse me. Let me do etc, and let me do init d and network in, and let me just pass in the command to restart. And notice I got this first the first time through ignoring an interface. Just do it again if you get that message. And then okay, now I'm good. So I was static. Now I'm set to DHCP. Now I'm not done yet because even though I'm set to even even though I'm set to uh, lease over DHCP, I still need to get or actually obtain uh, a DHCP uh, or, or a dynamic IP address. So I'm going to use another command, sudo dh client, and with my router DHCP server turned off, the only one responding should be the DHCP server that has been set up on my other Ubuntu 10.10 Linux client, uh, Linux server, excuse me. So this will go through the whole first step DHCP handshake process, and notice it's leasing it on ETH2. So um, there was a DHCP discover broadcast, there was a DHCP offer. Um, uh, now my client is requesting, and at the end of the process, there will be a DHCP acknowledge packet sent out, informing me of, and there's a DHCP ACK. So there's your whole first step process there. It starts out with the, the DHCP discover broadcast, the server, uh, the other Ubuntu server makes a DHCP offer, and then my client makes a DHCP request, and then finally the server sends me a DHCP acknowledge packet, indicating, okay, you have this address now. And let's take a gander, let's take a peek at this. So I'm going to clear this, and I'm going to do if config. And there again, notice that you know that's at the top of my scope, or the beginning of my scope now. 199.207.13.110. And I'm also going to do this. I'm going to cat uh, etc and resolve.conf. And notice that it just added the domain here and the name server, my DNS name server. So all those settings that I applied, um, I have truly received here via my DHCP server. I just want to kind of test that out. I'm just going to ping a few things. I'm going to try pinging uh, the domain name server and the DHCP server, Pegasus. Notice it mapped to the right IP address. There's 199.207.13.100. 
and see if we can actually resolve that. Okay, and now we're able to resolve that even with our dynamic IP address. Okay, and now let's test, uh, test a, a DNS forwarder. Let's see if I can break out of this. I don't want to flood ping my own server here, but. Okay, and now let's test a forwarder. We'll go out on the internet. So Yahoo. All right, and our forwarder is working just fine as well via DHCP. Now we're going to test this on a, a Windows XP Professional client. Um, so again, our Ubuntu 10.10 Maverick Meerkat DHCP server. Let's see if we can lease an IP. And remember that when we were doing the DNS lab testing by 9, we set our Windows client up uh, to basically use a static IP. And if I use IP config, so use to if config now. If I use IP config, um, let me do that with the dash all option. Um, you know, notice right now DHCP is not enabled, it's a static IP. Alright, so we're going to change that. I'm going to go here, I'm going to double click and select my interface, and I'm going to just uncheck obtain an IP address automatically, obtain DNS server automatically. I'm going to click on advanced, and I'm going to delete the DNS suffix. We're going to pull out all the information that was manually configured. And the test is, what we want to see is, can our Linux Ubuntu BIN 9 DHCP server successfully configure this Windows client the same way it did the Linux client with all of the information automatically the way DHCP should. And so I'm just going to do IP config. And looks like we've got a new IP already, but I'm going to go ahead and release it one more time. And we'll explicitly or specifically release and renew here. So I released it. I'm going to renew the IP address. And actually, to tell you the truth, the Ubuntu server is responding much faster than my router does. I like it. And let me do an IP config all. And if I do, we can kind of look at some of the settings here. All right, so um, if I go up here, here's the address that I've leased. And in this case, DHCP enabled, yes. Um, 115, 192.7.13.115. And it successfully also gathered the DNS suffix, ultimatebattlestars.com. So again, um, let's test it. Let's test our DNS with our DHCP, so to speak. So now we have dynamically configured DHCP enabled clients that are also, they're using Linux Ubuntu for the DHCP server, and they're using Linux Ubuntu uh, for a DNS server. Um, and again, if I were to ping um, Pegasus, it'll resolve it at ultimatebattlestars.com. What's authoritative for that domain? And let's test a, a forwarder www.yahoo.com and I get four echo replies from yahoo.com so the forwarders work. 